Sorry, guys, for taking so long to get this to you. All right, we're going to quickly go over three problems that are on solutions one to help you if you are struggling or just wanting a little extra understanding. Okay, so reminder that molarity equals moles over liters. So basically, that's the amount of stuff you have. That's the solute, how much you have dissolved in how much you have in the solvent, the liquid. So it's a ratio, okay? So those are my three units, actually. M is my molarity, which is basically the way of describing a concentration. So this first one says calculate molarity. Okay, so if I'm calculating molarity, I need moles and I need liters. So I'm gonna do letter B on every one of these. So I have my liters, but I don't have moles. So why we did this, uh, we made this, these problems harder on purpose. If you ever have grams, you gotta think that that is a way to get the moles, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 198 grams of BABR2, and I'm gonna convert that to moles. So one mole of BABR2. And that is over, if I just look at the periodic table, this is very technical, you I'm sure could find it rounded in different ways. And I have that. So now I have 198 divided by 297.14 equals 0.666 moles. Okay. And then I'm just going to put it, that's my moles. I'm just going to simply put that right now over my liters, which is 2.0 liters. If I do that, divided by 2, I'm going to get 0.33 molarity or molar of my solution. And that's what that first one would look like. All right, second one. What is the mass? And I wrote fine moles first. So if I do letter B again, Check it out, I have liters and I have molarity. So if I have liters and I have molarity, the only thing I don't have is moles. So it makes sense, take a breath and go, well, I probably need to solve for moles first. I like to set it up in the relationship of moles equals moles over liters. Molarity, sorry, equals moles over liters. So I have moles and I have, again, two liters. It's just a coincidence. So I'm gonna multiply this. So two times one and a half is three moles of my Na. And O3. If you were to ask for moles, you'd be done. But I'm asking for grams or mass. So how can I get from moles to grams? By doing a t-shirt. And the mass of that is approximately 85. And then I multiply that. The last one that we kind of asked for you to do is volume. And volume is my liters. So I'm gonna to have to have molarity in moles in some way. In this case, I'm doing the second one again, I have molarity, but I have grams. Well, grams can get you to moles. Okay, we're just making this one step harder than it normally would be to keep us fresh on grams and molarity. So if I do this first, I have one mole of maybe I'm going to use chloride, and I look that up, that is 95.2 grams. You take 250, divided by 95.2. That's not round so much. Okay, so now I'm going to plug that into my equation. So if I have 0.5 molar equals 2.626 moles over liters, okay? So how do I figure that out? Well, you could do cross multiplication and division. If I rearrange, uh, that is another way of thinking of it. Uh, it's just a little algebra. It's gonna be 2.626 divided by 0. 0.5 to get my five point, um, two five two liters. I apologize, I got the mass wrong. I was wondering why that wasn't working out. So that's going to be actually 1.258 grams. So 
get 1.987 moles. So if I divide that, I get 3.97 liters, or roughly about four liters. So that's how that works. Uh, when you're looking at the back of the sheet, please understand that um, anytime you're asked for grams, you need to probably find moles first, okay? And just keep in mind that molarity equals moles over liters. All right, so that should hopefully help you out.